Okay, so could you please um, firstly just let me um, know your name and job title? Right. Uh, it's Russell Baker, um, class student for um, level one and level two courses. Um, teach on a bit, well, pretty much every course that's, uh, that's available okay. to a motor vehicle student. Lovely, okay. So firstly, uh, what was your initial response when you were informed about the pilot? Um, a bit apprehensive really at first. Um, obviously new technologies um, it can be a little bit frightening, and I think it's, it, it ends up a little bit frightening because of your lack of knowledge yourself. Mm -hmm. um, but it, as the year's gone on, um, it's, it's done very well. It's done very well. Mm -hmm. So, with those initial concerns or, or apprehensions that you might have had, um, were you able to talk through them with anybody? Did you yeah, um, obviously, response? Cisco um, is very good with, at what he does on, on the IT side, especially. Um, and so, it's, you know, it, it is. A valuable sort of link uh, to have somebody in a team like that. Mm -hmm. um, it does take a lot of getting your, your head around it, and it's gone. Obviously, I, I initially got involved with it um, late September of uh, 2013, and so it's, it's been like a quick, very quick learning curve. Um, it does. It has worked very well. Um, some students are 50-50 on it as to whether they like doing that type of learning. Um, I do prefer it myself now, um, and like I said, it's just all the initial hiccups that mm -hmm. goes around it. One of the largest concerns is, or, or my largest concern is that we go in and around the building and if the Wi-Fi is in heavy usage, um, it does slow the Google Chromebooks down an awful lot. And if you've only got an hour to an hour and a half lesson, that's 15 minutes taken out of it for sure. Um, so it's, it's a college Wi-Fi system, which I understand is a, is a problem. Mm, just so. Has that been one of the biggest challenges? It has, um, because if, if you're doing, especially if I were doing like a tutorial or a lesson on a, uh, on a late Friday afternoon, and you're struggling to keep your students uh, on board anyway, because all they want to do is get away from the college, it's Friday, um, and you set them up with Google Chromebooks and they won't work. Um, then obviously they start blaming the Chromebook and not the, uh, the Wi-Fi system. Um, so I have tended to do a little bit of backup, making sure that I'm in a, a PC room as well as, which is, you know, it's not where it should be working. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah. Did you feel as though you've received sufficient training to use the Chromebooks? Um, no, it's a, it, it is a struggle. Um, and we are just at this moment in time as well. We're very, very short-staffed, and we're sort of doubling up on lessons and such. Um, and it, it would help. It certainly would help. Um, more, you know, well, more assistance with the cool, but not more input yeah. because the input's there. Um, it's just more assistance with it. Mm -hmm. um, but that's just how it is at this moment in time until we get a member of staff back, or we, when we get somebody in, then uh, it's we've got to do what we've got to do first. So how has your teaching style been affected? Um, for the better. Now I, I I personally like it very very well because um, once they start using the, the PCs in the way in which we are supposed to do, where they're using the auto spell check and um, and that type of for that type of work, then it does get them into a little bit of a learning ability. Um, I tend to put a little bit of music on as well. If they're all very, because once they get into a Chromebook, it goes very, very quiet. So I put a little bit of music on, it just sort of relaxes them. And then after maybe 10, 15 minutes, um, it does start lining up and the concentration goes. Um, but that's that's with everything. Everybody has a, a, a learning cycle. And from my understanding, it's around about 15 to 20 minutes, then the subject must be changed. So obviously, when they're looking at Chromebook, that is their subject. Mm -hmm. It's not the it's not the thing that they're looking at. It's the Chromebook is a subject. So after 15, 20 minutes, it does need a bit of a change, and that, that's when you've got to put your input as a tutor um, and, and make sure you keep it going. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it's it is very it is very good. I've just had one or two students where they have brought in. Um, how can I put it? The excuse that oh I haven't got my Chromebook or my Chromebook won't fire up or I've forgotten the password um, and that can be infuriating. Mm. But there's, there's ways around it, you know, in, in every way. 
um, the student will never forget his mobile phone. So any passwords, if they put on the mobile phone, that's it. Um, so that the, you know, and, and really just getting them into that way of, of, of working. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been quite good. Mm. Yeah. You mentioned earlier about about fifty percent of them probably feel yeah. as though they've you know they've got used to using them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's, there's some learners who will come straight in, open the Chromebook, and because, because it's available for for social uh, work as well, um, you know, while, whilst everybody's sort of winding their, the, or starting the lesson up, um, then if they just need to check their emails and like that, that's fine. But you've got to make that conscious point of once the lesson starts, then the emailing stops mm -hmm. and everything else, which, which can be a little bit difficult. Um, we're now in um, till end of February, and it's taken that time from September to February to to really make that point and make it um, hard and fast. So, uh, mm. yeah. yeah. Going forward, if um if you were able to iron out any of the initial teething problems, mm. um, would you want the pilot to be sustainable? Yes, um, it, it is a good thing. There's no way. Uh, like, like I did mention, I'm apprehensive at first, but there's no way um, we can go back now. It needs to go forward um, because the students are starting to accept it as well. Obviously, there is only an amount of Google Chromebooks which have been given to students on a, um, a full-time takeaway basis. Um, and with those, those in mind, these are the ones that's really taking it on board. Um, the students where you're just taking a Chromebook into a class, classroom and letting them fire them up and, and everything else. We're not into that way of doing it yet. We're not into the way of remembering the passwords and remembering certain sites or collectively retaining um, certain sites that we're going to use. Um, but uh, it, it is good. There's no, no two ways about it. And uh, from what I understand, it is fairly, fairly relatively inexpensive to set up. Um, but, uh, yeah. So would you recommend that Remote learning is introduced to other areas of the curriculum. Yes, um, as in other areas, you mean as sort of construction. Yeah. Uh, yes, I would, um, but I don't teach construction. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't teach electrical, so um, that that point is going to be taken on board by mm -hmm. them rather than myself. Um, mm -hmm. but, uh, How would you summarise your overall experience? A very good learning experience for myself, um, because we obviously we're using PCs all the time, but um, because we're using them more on a daily basis, um, it's a learning curve for me as well. I've the younger generation that were taught far more at school than uh, than ever was about PCs, and so it does bounce back off each other. Um, I take on board what I can learn of them, and I won't be afraid to say to them, "Show me how to do this." Um, because it, it's, it just makes the lesson busy on and, and quicken up if you know if you can have that rapport uh, with them. And obviously, they, they like it also if they feel that they can give you um, some education. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not just uh, me telling them how to how to do things. If it's if it's put about the class, then it, it's you know it, it is a, uh, it turns into a discussion, and that's it. You know. Um, and everybody will, and you'll also get students which will reach over to another one and just say, that's how you do that. To another, so it's very good for peer learning. Um, and uh, yeah, I doubt I'll go for it. Mm -hmm. I've, no, I've no reservations about that. That is the way it's going to go. Um, and that's, yeah, that's good. Have you um, either experienced or witnessed any unexpected outcomes? Um, no. Uh, well, at the very start, I, I was under the illusion that um, the Chromebooks would just disappear and be sold. Um, or, but surprisingly enough, I don't think we've lost any. Uh, we've had an odd breakage, um, but uh, it's only been a, a screen problem or something like that, where it's either been dropped or sat on or um, put in a rucksack too tight, which may be. Um, all the, all the Chromebooks were supplied just as a Chromebook, no cases. Um, so that might be an idea forward is, is a, 
reasonably mm. um, cheap protected case. And it uh, it also put it's also somewhere for the students to put the pens and any paper they need. You know, mm -hmm. it can't go totally paperless. It just won't work to totally paperless. Um, but that that has been my my main issue is um, the server running, running very slow, and it it just knocks the lesson to pot then. I think you know because um, be, it's not just students. Everybody gets infuriated because they can't carry on. Uh, what they're doing, um, but to get that sorted and always, uh, always hold it to Yeah. <laughs> um, and finally, um, do you have any other comments to make? No, no. Um, I say it's, I've enjoyed it. It's a learning experience for me, mm. uh, and I've enjoyed it so far. No big, no big glitches or anything like that. And obviously, what we have got with the Chromebooks, we've, we've also changed onto uh, IMI as an awarded body. Um, which is pretty much 100% online, um, and so it's, it's it's been the way to go. Um, if we'd have been a partial online with any other awarded body, then uh, I could have foreseen some hiccups. But other than that, yeah, it's good. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. No worries. Yeah, that's all right.